Welcome back, I'm the Watch Nerd. On this video, we're going to be reviewing an anti-magnetic dog saw. So this actual piece is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's a manual wind from the 1960s. Docs is a very cool company, but before getting into it too much, I want to keep announcing my Chanel chain giveaway. We're going to give out this chain as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you want to be entered, there's the four steps in the description below. Let's hop right into it. Now starting us off, here is the piece itself. Let's get rid of dimensions uh, pretty fast because it's a 36 millimeter case, which is traditional. Uh, from the time, but then we have an incredibly slim case right here. This profile is unbelievable, including that has well acrylic uh, glass, I should say. Um, it is seven and a half millimeters. That's what I measure it in, um, but I think it even wears slimmer. Uh, in some occasions, so it's a really, really slim piece. As of course, you can see the name Doxa on the dial. This is a beautiful pink gold, and it stayed pink gold. It doesn't show off on camera as much as it does in person, though, how pink it really is. Um, a lot of companies, you don't get that. You don't get that, uh, you know, staying of um, that color. Um, and of course, now Rolex uh, uses platinum to keep the pink uh, there. Our rose, it's rose, another way of saying it. Now let's feel the crown itself. It's a beautiful piece, uh, push-pull pink crown. Um, there is no hacking, uh, but I don't think that's a serious issue because it's a beautiful Etta inside. It's anti-magnetic, as it says, of course, um, properties within. I will show a picture of that movement um, up here on the side. So it's a very, very cool thing. I love the numerals and we're gonna get up even a little closer here um, and take a look at this dial. So now getting up close, you can see there is a little a bump there and uh, I believe that is on the Hesolite on the inside there. Uh, but the rest of the dial is absolutely beautiful. You have the applied Doxa and uh, very, very nice. Um, all this stuff is scuffs and scratches. I believe it looks like it's on the dial, that um, piece. I'm not 100% um, with it. But, you know, if you're not using it under a loop, you can definitely see more under some magnification. It looks like a perfectly clean dial. A white is such a beautiful color too. So I would love to know all your opinions. What do you think about it? It is 14 karat um, rose gold with that beautiful Doxa watch. Of course, Doxa is a very rich in history. Um, typically, when you buy a Doxa, you're not buying a non-waterproof case. They worked with the Rolex to first come up with helium escape valve. That's pretty much where they're really famous. And then Jack uh, uh, you know, Cousteau uh, with his red cap, very famous diver, wore them uh, very outlandish colors, and beautiful things, but this is, just the opposite of what Docs is known for, and I wanted to make a short video about it. I'd love to hear all your opinions in the comments down below, and my next video will be on um, a very unbelievable Rolex collection, so stay tuned for that. Thank you, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.